Hello and welcome to the channel that is all about WordPress. Today we will learn how checkout field editor, checkout manager for WooCommerce plugin can be set up within the WooCommerce page website. Before that, let me tell you something about this plugin. Well, if you are looking for for custom fields to add within the checkout page, or if you want to disable some of the default fields within the billing section as well as in the shipping section or the additional information section, then this plugin is a perfect plugin that you can use as per your requirement. So let's set up this plugin within the admin dashboard and we'll see how it is going to reflect in the front end. So let's go to the dashboard. Here we'll go to plugin admin section. So here we will provide a plugin name accordingly and it will fetch it. Now, as you can see, the plugin name is showing here. So for me, it is showing the activate button because uh, I already installed this plugin. And for you, it will show the install now button because you are going to install it for the first time. So let's activate this plugin. Now here you can see the plugin checkout field editor from WooCommerce that is uh, activated. Now we'll go to the settings page. Now here, as you can see, um, there are uh, three uh, sections provided like billing fields, shipping fields, additional fields. Now here you can see all the billing fields. Now within the billing fields, if you uh, you can see they are a label setup place all the setup validation setup required enabled edit so if you are actually want to like edit any field then you can click on the edit and it will pop, pop up a section regarding that and you can set up accordingly if you want to change the label you can change the label you can provide the placeholder you can set the default value if you don't want to set it as a required then you can click on that and if you want to hide this section, then you can you can just uh, uncheck this uh, section and you can click on the save button and will uh, reflect in the front end accordingly. So let's uh, also there are some other features that you can see. You can actually click on uh, remove button. You can also uh, click on add field where you can provide the section and you can select the type of it suppose I set the text itself and because it is billing so by default this set, setting the billing underscore as a prefix so suppose I say uh, Nick name now I uh, use it as, I set as, uh, it is not required. I will save it. Now uh, you can see the plugin is uh, this updated and you can see the nickname is showing here. Now let's uh, drag it to the, just after the last name. So, Let's click on the save changes. Now we will see how it is going to reflect in the front end. So we'll go here, let's click on the visit site. So here we have already some products to check out. So we'll go to the uh, chart. So we'll go to the checkout page. So within the checkout page, uh, you can see it shows the nickname which is an optional field because I haven't set it as required. So it's showing here. And uh, let's suppose if you want to disable this, uh, this section, like street address, billing address, second section, so we'll go to backend and we'll here, we'll um, click on edit. 
and simply click on unclick uncheck this enable section and we'll click on the save button so now we'll save the changes here itself and now again we'll go to the front end and we'll see how it is going to reflect so here we are refresh the page so now you can see that the another billing address to field is actually disabled and you can see it is not showing here similarly you can set for the for the shipping at details as well as for the additional information and uh, you can actually uh, go to this section like shipping fields what they are providing so here you can see all the shipping fields are showing and you can actually enable or disable them as per your requirement you can edit them as per your requirement you can like let's click on this and you can uh, click on the remove button and simply uh, disable that functionality and you can click on the save changes so even if you want to reset it like for uh, letter so you can click on the reset to default field so you like you can see the shipping underscore address underscore to a field is gone so let's click on the reset to default fields okay so now you can see the the field is uh, again showing here so whenever you feels like you have to reset to the default functionality you can simply click on the reset to default field and achieve your requirement so you can see how pretty easy it is to add a custom field as well as to the, uh, customize the fields for the checkout uh, page so that's all how you can you can use it as per your requirement thank you